Hello, my name is Cyrus Nilchan and I am a technical evangelist for IBM Storage. Today I will show how to upgrade TSM server version 6.x.x to 6.3.4. TSM server 6.3.4 is the minimum requirement for running the operation center. The first step when upgrading is to create a backup of your TSM server. As you can see I am running TSM server version 6.2.1 here and the backup command is already visible on the screen. Backup database I want to use type DB snapshot and device class is going to be my file class. Let's start the backup and the backup process has been started in the background and right after the database backup has been finished I will create a backup of the dev config and also of the volume history. Dev config and the volume history are required in order to do a TSM server restore in case anything fails uh, during the upgrade. So we can see that a disk pool is being mounted. You can perform the backup onto disk or you can also perform your backup onto tape. And we can see now that our database backup was successful. The next step is the backup of the def config. So the command is backup def config file names equals bck def config. That's the, the backup file. And that's finished. And the next step we are going to backup the volume history and we're using bck vol history as file name. And this one is also successfully finished right now. Now, the next step is to back up the deployment engine itself. And I'll do this by uh, changing to C program files, IBM, common, ACSI, bin, and I am going to issue the command de underscore backup db dot cmd. This will back up the deployment engine. Okay, and this request completed successfully as well. I will now go back to the TSM server, which was here, and I will stop the TSM server by issuing the command halt. This will stop my TSM server. So the upgrade procedure is an offline procedure. It takes about an hour, depending on the size of the database and some other uh, uh, parameters like disk I.O., CPU, and um, uh, so forth. But it's a pretty straightforward uh, process as long as you are within version 6 of TSM. The server is now down. And as a next step, I will delete the node lock file. The node lock file contains previous licensing information for the existing installation and this licensing information is replaced when the upgrade is complete. I just navigate to the file. The file is in a hidden directory under C program data IBM DB2 DB2 TSM1 license. I'm going to delete this file now. Now I navigated back to my C drive and I can now run 
the upgrade. The upgrade is part of the installation wizard and we can run it as a wizard or we can run it as a silent installation or we can run it through a console mode. And this is true for all platforms. So Unix, the Unix platforms are providing the same wizard that the Windows platform does. So I change to my directory and this file here, the TSM uh, 634, TSM all Windows XX64 file is the actual file that you would download from the web or that you would get as part of your installation media. When you double click this file, it will just simply extract and you can see all the folders that you can see here and within the root folder you find the installation wizard and I will start this wizard now you can see that we're using install anywhere so this wizard looks pretty much the same on the Unix platforms as well the wizard is in fact smart so it does automatically understand that we already have a TSM server installed on this machine and it will just get the parameters that are used in the previous installation of TSM it will just read those and it will reuse them automatically so you don't have to do anything you just click on OK and then um, I can see this um, Tivoli Storage Manager installation screen where I simply click next. I select the product that I want to install, IBM Tivoli Storage Manager or maybe IBM Tivoli Storage Manager Extended Edition. I accept the license terms. I select if I want to have a storage agent. And the next step is selecting the installation folder. Usually when you do a fresh install, you can specify the installation directory. Since we're doing an upgrade here, and this wizard is actually very smart, it will already find out what the installation folder is, and it will reuse the existing installation folder, assuming that your new TSM database is just in the same folder as your old TSM database was. Okay, now we can select the components to install. I select Tivoli Storage Manager Server and Tivoli Storage Manager Licenses. It does some uh, check here and uh, it complains about my available physical memory, which is only 14 gig here. I will just click OK and accept the reduced memory. And it does now prepare the installation. This is basically configuring the deployment engine. Remember, we have backed up the old deployment engine right before we started this process. It is recommended once the upgrade has finished that you perform another backup of the newly laid out deployment engine. process is completed and the next step would be to specify the settings like TSM server instance name and so on however the installer has already gathered those settings from the previous installation of the TSM server so it will just reuse those So I'm getting a warning here and it basically asks me if I'm sure. Yes, I am. And now I am presented with a pre-installation summary. It shows me the product name, installation folder and required and available disk space. I click on install now. And this will now perform the upgrade for me. It will also upgrade the underlying DB2 database instance. Depending from which TSM version 6 you are coming from, 
This process might take a little bit longer since sometimes an older version of DB2 also has to be upgraded. The upgrade is part of this installation process right here, so you do not have to worry about manually upgrading your DB2 database. It's all encapsulated in this upgrade process right here. That was it. This is how easy it is to upgrade TSM version 6.xx to 6.3.4. So my upgrade process is finished. In this particular case, DB2 version 9.7 was installed under the covers. The Tivoli um, Storage Manager server was installed and also the licenses. Keep in mind that you have to issue a register license command afterwards to register the licenses with your upgraded TSM server. So I'm done now. I can click on done. And I will now go back to my foreground TSM server, which was stopped. And what I do now is I just restart that TSM server. And if everything worked fine, I will see version 6.3.4 coming up. TSM is now detecting the database schemas and it is performing a reconciliation of it. TSM server is performing this operation only at the first start of the TSM server. So from now on, the TSM server will just start with regular performance. So the server initialization completed. And now the server is ready for external connections. And it also performs an expire inventory right now. So some cleanup tasks here. and it's back up and running. The whole process took me about 30 minutes in a production environment. It might be up to an hour since the actual data that are in the TSM server database are not being touched. The upgrade process is only performing tasks on metadata. So now I can prove that this TSM server is working by opening up an administrative command line. So let's switch gears here and start DSM ADMC. I'm logging in to the TSM server. And you can see that the client here, the command line client, the command line administrative interface is still in the old version. However, once I log in, it tells me that my TSM server has been upgraded to version 6.3.4.
and I can now do a query system to find out how my TSM server looks like, what the server name is, what the ports are, on which level the TSM server is, and so on. We can see all the nodes. They also have been basically upgraded. And now I can also get some more information about the actual database. So I'll do a query. DB format equals detailed. And this shows me the database name and the size of the file system, the space that's been taken up, and uh, so on. So really the last step here is to register the licenses for the new TSM server. This is done through a register license command. I will just register all license files that have been deployed during the upgrade process. And that's it. This is how easy it is to upgrade a TSM server. In case you're only applying a, a hotfix that you've downloaded from the support site, the process is exactly the same. There is really no difference. So you run into the same wizard, you do the exact same steps. The only difference is when you download the fix pack from the, from the support site, you're not getting the license file alongside with it. So in essence, whether you upgrade from TSM 6.1.5 or TSM 6.2.1 or 6.3.2, it really doesn't matter. The process is the same. Okay? We have now laid the foundation for using the TSM Operation Center. Thank you very much for your attention.